Hey girls, guys, and all people like it is Moxion. Hello, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be reviewing my top five FNAF fan games that you need to be getting excited for and looking out for. But first, I wanted to say two things. One, we're almost at 500 subscribers. My dudes are so close. So hit that subscribe button. I'm super excited for us to reach 500 subs. I'm really, really hyped, really happy at the content we're making. But anyway, number two, this is a personal list of five FNAF fan games that I'm really interested in seeing, and I feel like it should get attention. And this list might be completely different for other people, and there might be some info that I miss. Uh, there might be info that really changes this whole list entirely and whether or not I'd have them on this list at all. I don't know those things because I'm doing a quick review of a lot of the Game Jolt pages because that's where a lot of these games are uploaded. But anyway, let's get into the list. Also, these are in no particular order to some degree. They're kind of in an order, but not really. Anyhow, started with number five, we have Welcome to Freddy's. This is a FNAF reboot game. Yeah, so being a reboot, this is not connected to the original FNAF games. This is kind of its own thing. Uh, whereas other FNAF fan games tend to try and make it in lore and kind of fit with the actual FNAF lore. This just seems to kind of do its own thing, which I appreciate. I really like that. And we can see right on the front of the page, there appears to be six animatronics, Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, a dog character, Foxy, and a more feminine looking Fox character. Now, I really like this because I love the original animatronics and seeing as this is a reboot, they're able to just use these animatronics. But I love the addition of the two new ones. I really like that. I like more animatronics and more things to see as long as they have good mechanics. Now, there seems to be some videos on the Game Jolt page, and if you want me to review them, I'd be super happy to. Let me know in the comments below. But if we look at this screenshot, we can see that a lot of the old characters have new designs and I absolutely love them. They look very new, but very fitting. Like they're very revamped and it's done in a way that it's not off-putting. I feel like sometimes things are a little too different in a lot of these fan games. They're a little just too off from the original take of the characters, at least in my opinion. I really like the original looks. I'm excited to see what the story will be and how like different or similar it is from the main game or like like at least the original games. Uh, I'm Story is really just the biggest thing for me in games and stories in general, <laughs> the actual lore behind everything. So I'm excited to see if this just follows the same lore, or if this has its own lore. I'd really appreciate if it had its own lore. That would be really cool. All right, and coming in at number four, we have Golden Memory 2. This game seems interesting as it seems to focus on the toy animatronics rather than the originals, which I think is pretty cool. I, I feel like I, I haven't seen enough of the toy animatronics. And maybe that's the reason that it's called Golden Memory 2, because I actually wasn't able to find a Golden Memory 1. So this seems like it's it seems like it would be a sequel, being as it's called 2. I'm assuming that that is just named that because it has to do with the toy animatronics and maybe that line of story and things going on. If you want to see me do a deep dive on this, let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to. I would really like to know more of any of these games, really. And looking quickly into the story, it seems like they're starting um, the story after some sort of conflict already happened within the franchise in in game. Uh, as the game description states that Freddy and his friends were on lockdown, but have returned. So something happened that put them on lockdown lockdown. Now they're back. That most likely also ties into why it's Golden Memory 2. Maybe they're going to go backwards. That'd be kind of cool and interesting. Again, in this game, we're playing as a security guard, much like all the main FNAF games. <laughs> but there seems to be some extra story in this game that connects us to Golden Freddy and Bonnie. So I'm really excited to see that. Uh, Golden Bonnie, that is. Sorry. Spring, spring trap, spring trap Bonnie. Is, does he have a name? Is it is it Golden Bonnie? Spring Bonnie? I don't know. I, I it's, it's been so long. I've, I'm not sure. But yeah, there's two teaser images that look super cool. Um, and it says, forgot someone if you put them together and it's clearly Springtrap and Golden Freddy. Fredbear, sorry. Fredbear, I'm, I'm assuming. Anyway, I'm extremely excited for this game. The game mechanics look pretty good. Um, it looks like they're going to be slightly different at times rather than just main FNAF, which is check cameras, look at doors, all that stuff. It looks like it might be a little different, which I appreciate. But overall, it does look like it stays pretty true to FNAF. And I, I like that. I, I like when things are just, just a little different. Anyway, moving on to number three, we have Juniors. Possibly the most terrifying of the five. The, like the designs of these animatronics look insane. They're so insanely spooky. It's crazy. Super well done. Game mechanics look amazing. I'm just going to flick through some of these images real quick. There's been a lot of people reviewing this, like this one specifically. I've seen a lot of like, I've seen a lot of recommended things for me to watch, um, but just the models look so crazy well done. And like, look at Mangle. Look at Mangle. Is that not the most terrifying thing you've ever seen in your life? It looks so real as well. That's what really gets me. Like the little, what is that? Like an owl thing that it's holding? It looks like, I feel like I could reach my hand out and touch this. Now, graphics aren't everything in a game. They do help quite a fair bit, but they're not everything. Story. Story is where the big things are at. So it seems like there's been some slip ups in the Junior's location. Uh, so they're going to shut down and we're going to need to do a proper investigation. Already a good solid start for making this terrifying. And if I'm not mistaken, I could be super wrong, but I 
I heard somewhere that this junior's location is the same one we see in Pizzeria Sim, possibly. And we have a confirmation on that. I think it's Pizzeria Sim. I could be wrong. But yeah, so I'm not sure if this is going to be fully in canon, like they're trying to shove this into the main canon or if this is different. Either way, it's a different location. So it's not too bad. I like that. I'm down with that. I'm okay with that. I like it. So, okay, if we read the main story description, after agreeing to take part in the ongoing Junior's investigation, you're greeted by a passive spirit named Paul Bear. That's, that's, that's a fun, cute name. Sure. Who help you on your journey to flesh out the evil that hides within the creepy old animatronic suits. However, that evil wants something other than your life. It wants Paul Bear. So that's like already crazy turn in the, in the direction of the story. I really appreciate that. I'm like super hyped to see well, this goes. Uh, if you look even further down, Juniors is a paranormal heavy Five Nights at Freddy's fan game where you, the player, and your colleague Paul Bear try to solve the mystery surrounding Juniors. Juniors will feature both 3D and 2D sections, unlike most traditional click team fusion fan games. And it'll also have a ton of extras and mini games. All that cool stuff. It looks amazing. Looks super, super cool. This premise of the story sounds great. I love this, like, this main image here on the on the Game Jolt page. Like, I really like that old cartoon look that it has. Super cool. I really appreciate that. If you want an in-depth review of this game, let me know. I'd be super happy to do it. But anyway, moving on to number two. And number two, I'm not going to lie to you, my dudes. I am hyped for number two. I am immensely hyped for number two. And coming in at number two, we have... Lego Five Nights at Freddy's, that's right. I am equally hyped for this as I am for any of the games. Honestly, it looks so good. It's it's so funny and so good, I love it. I'm a huge fan of Lego games, play them like all my life, play them all the time growing up, absolutely love them. And these are literally just going to be Lego versions of the FNAF games. They're gonna go from FNAF 1 to maybe to Sister Location, possibly? I don't actually know. Let me let me check their Discord page. Because it doesn't say that much on their Game Jolt page, but if you check their Discord page, first off, I warn you, because it's pretty dank, for lack of a better word. It's, uh, it's interesting. And because it's so dank, I find it hard to make myself read through it, see if there's any updates for it. Okay, hey, Mox from the Future here. You can tell because I look a little worn out from hours of editing. Uh, but anyway, if you actually go onto their Discord page, link in the description, uh, and you go to the dev updates, there is stuff going back from last year, January, to only a couple days ago, February 2022. So it seems like this is still being updated like fairly frequently, uh, but it does seem like as of last year, January, they have decided to like fully remake the game uh, because it was poorly programmed in the beginning. But if you look through like the Discord page, it's still just as dank as before, but there are like updates to gameplay and everything. So that's pretty cool to see. So I want to jump in here and say that to correct past me. All right. But yeah, anyway, back to old me or young me. Is that techni that's technically young me. But uh, if you check their FAQ, when people ask when is it coming out, they just say it'll be out when it's out. Be patient. So like, I guess they get this question a lot. Maybe they're not too keen on giving updates. I don't really know. It's just real dank in this thing. But like, look at these models. The models look so good. I love them. They're so cute. I'd love to have these like IRL. I, I probably could probably find them real easy. And I love this like particular image. This is very Lego. <laughs> Foxy's coming to scare you and then Bonnie just jumps in and yeets that boy out of the way. But yeah, and according to them, the way this is going to work is you need to have the corresponding game on Steam to play that like level of Lego FNAF. So you need to have purchased and installed, or maybe just installed, I don't know, um, <laughs> FNAF 1 to play Lego FNAF 1, FNAF 2 to play Lego FNAF 2, so on and so forth. And I'm, I'm okay with that. I have all the FNAF games. If you're a fan of FNAF, I'm sure you do too. So keep a close eye out for this one. Looks amazing. I love it. Super excited to see it. There's not much to talk about the story here. This is literally just a cosmetic change. I'm okay with that. Moving on to number one, a game that's very near and dear to me, as I've already reviewed it multiple times on the channel, and that is FNAF Plus. FNAF Plus looks so good. It's like a reboot series. Uh, I've done so many videos on this. Link in the description and in the cards and whichever corner I'm in to watch my reviews, because I love Love this game so much. It's a faithful reboot. Faithful in the sense that you're in Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. The animatronics overall designs are the same, but they're rebooted, revamped. It looks amazing. The story, however, is where things are going to start to differ. And the amazing graphics, by the way. The graphics are crazy good. Like, look look at these animatronics. They're, they're, they're nuts. They're crazy. This is taken from my thumbnail. Go watch the video. <laughs> but they're, they look so spooky and scary. I love it. But if you look at the creator's page, they talk a little bit about um, the game that they're making and the 
the mainline FNAF games like Security Breach and all that, and their disliking of that, which I can sympathize with. But this, as far as I can tell, is a reboot. This is not in the FNAF lore. This is not a game like that tries to be a, a sister location <laughs> to the actual FNAF locations. This is going to be its own thing. They described it as their own baby, and I love that so much. It looks like they're putting a lot of love and care into this game, so I'm so, so hyped to see it. Quick overview of the story. From what I can tell, you're either playing as a child or you're going to be investigating the death of this child who goes into the pizzeria basically and is looking for paranormal happenings and paranormal activity in this pizzeria and um the fate of this child is unclear judging by the video that we reviewed but it is very clear that there's some strange shenanigans going on and we're going to be investigating that whether we're playing as a child or as a security guard or as an investigator what really gets me in this game is the designs the designs are so spooky and scary and the change in the story i love it so much those are two real huge things for me creature design and story lore and you know we love our fnaf lore but yeah anyway and that has been it that's been our top five if you want to see me do more top fives for fnaf or if you want to see me review any of the games uh, that we talked about here today let me know i'm so hyped thank you guys so much for all the love and care that we've been getting i've been super loving the content that we've been making it's been like super super fun all the fnaf stuff it's great i've also been coming out with youtube shorts which you guys seem to have been loving like a whole bunch so thanks so much for that check those out if you haven't but yeah i'm gonna keep it up with the fnaf videos i have some other stuff on the channel if you want to check it out but here and out i think we're gonna be mostly reviewing stuff like this like I love to play the games just as much as I love to review them but seeing as these games aren't out yet I really wanted to kind of talk about them and get the ideas out there for what could be coming for the channel in the future but anyway thanks so much for watching my dudes don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you enjoy this stay tuned for the next video thanks for watching and goodbye <laughs>